So hi everyone, my name is Zoheb. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about how we can create a chatbot user interface using Streamlit and ChatGPT API. So without any further ado, let's start it. So we are going to build a user interface using Streamlit and ChatGPT Open API. So we need some kind of components from Streamlit. So let's see which are these components one by one. So the first one is chat input. This component is basically used to get uh, the input from the user side. So if you want to get the input from the user side, this component will be used and uh, it looks like this. So this, there is some, some space in which you can write and then there is a button uh, which is used to send the message to the bot. So let's code it uh, along the way so that you can understand it properly and uh, can implement uh, this chat element. So we will gonna first import streamlet. Then we will see how we can use this element. So st dot chat input and uh, here we can write some message by default. Here you can see like say something. So this is a placeholder which will be used inside our chat input element. So if someone writes in, in it, it will be used inside our prompt. And uh, if we get anything in our prompt, like if prompt exists, then uh, we will print out our message like this way by using st.write function. So, message by user and uh, here our prompt will come so let's print out and see how it looks like so we will gonna print out by using streamlit run uh, chat elements dot py so let's run it So here you can see we have a chat element and if we write something in it like hi bot uh, our message will be printed by here. So now we see the second element that uh, is required uh, to build the user interface. So let's start with it. So the second one is chat message. Uh, element and uh, this is basically used to render your uh, message so every uh, message that we place inside our board it will be rendered by using the chat message element so by rendering i mean it will provide some kind of a styling or some kind of a avatars to our message so if you see like here uh, it is the message from the board site like hello human and uh, one avatar like a board has been given to it Similarly, if you guys want to print out some kind of a graph, you can also place them inside your chat message uh, container. So it will provide us a container uh, which will be used to render our uh, messages. So let's see how it works. So we are basically using the uh, chat elements provided by the streamlet. So if we give the title to our page, it would be like chat elements from streamlet so these are the two chat elements from the streamlet like chat input and chat message so let's see how the chat message now works with uh, st dot chat message and uh, inside in it uh, we will place like uh, the role and if we look into the definition of this uh, element it takes like two variables like with the name of name and uh, the avatar so yeah so let's set the name to the assistant like assistant or you can give any other name uh, if it is the message from the user side you can say name equal to user so uh, we will not uh, gonna configure the avatar we will take it as the same that it provides uh, by using its own styling so with st.chat message and uh, here we can use st.markdown to print uh, the messages from the assistant side and 
I can say, hey, I am your AI based assistant. So let's run it and see how it works. So here you can see we have a rendered a message by using the chat message element and here you can see the avatar has been given like a bot uh, and it depends upon which input you give like I use the assistant and uh, they have given me this avatar like this bot and the message has been printed here. So, so we have seen uh, so far two elements uh, provided and uh, now let's talk about the third element which is necessary to build the uh, chatbot using streamlit so the third one is session state so session state is just like a python dictionary uh, which will save our variables values inside uh, the that dictionary and uh, it will save different variables values and it will share between different reruns so every time when you use a streamlit and uh, uh, application it will create a new session and uh, if you want to use uh, different variables for different reruns then you can use uh, the session state uh, from the streamlit to hold the variables values so let's see how it works so I have written a session state code and uh, in which this is our main function and uh, I have given the title like session example and uh, let's see how it works so it is just like a dictionary and uh, it will see initially that if the key exists in st.sessionState uh, uh, dictionary then it will just go to the next uh, statement but if it does not exist inside the session state then it will create a key with the name counter and will set its value to zero like here now this is the button element from the streamlet and the button name is increment counter so when this button is pressed the session state counter key it will be incremented so whenever a button is pressed inside the streamlet application the application runs from the start the code will execute from the start uh, to the end and uh, our variables values will be replaced so if we hold the previous value inside our counter then it will be incremented to the next value otherwise it's gonna miss out so that is the purpose to use the streamlet uh, session state so let's run it and then see how it works so to run this one we have to run the code again so to run this one we will be gonna use session state dot pwest let's run it so here you can see that i have created a button with the name increment counter so whenever i click this button uh, this application uh, the code behind this application will be run from the start and uh, the counter values will be changed like i press this button now the value is one so if it saves the value between each rerun then the counter value uh, will be incremented like this way so this is the purpose to use the session state uh, to hold the variables values uh, between different reruns so now let's see how we can create a chat GPT clone by using all the elements uh, using Streamlit. So I have written the code for the chat GPT clone and uh, we need a couple of libraries like the open uh, AI and uh, the Streamlit as well. So I have given the title to the page like chat GPT like clone. So we are going to build a bot like a uh, chat GPT and for that we will be using the open api key uh, on the back end and i have used the st.secrets uh, to get our open ai api key so if you want to uh, store the secrets inside your uh, streamlit project then you have to create a, a folder like with the name of dot streamlit and inside your that folder you have to create a file like secrets.2ml and inside this file uh, your uh, all the secrets will be saved and uh, you can get uh, those secrets by using st.secrets um, and with the given name of the variable so this open api key will be retrieved and will be set to the open ai.api key yeah so in our next one we will set the open ai model 
uh, that we will use since we are going to use the chat gpt 3.5 turbo mo uh, model api so that's why i have set it to the uh, st dot session state and uh, with the uh, name of the key like open ai model so if it is not already uh, present inside our session state then the model will be set to the chat gpt 3.5 turbo now here uh, we have also created a new key with the name of the messages and uh, yeah if it does not exist already inside the session state the messages list will be set to the default empty list like this way by using this uh, statement so here is a for loop that is will be used uh, to display all our previous conversation like we will be iterate over all the messages list and then each message will be rendered by using the st.chat message element and uh, inside its parameters we have like the message role the role that will be used and uh, yeah so the message will be uh, shown on the front end by using the st.markdown and inside that we will give our original message with uh, with the key like content so inside this message list every message uh, uh, will be saved as a dictionary and that dictionary will hold two keys one with role and the other with content so this for loop will be used to display all our previous conversation on the front end and every message will be rendered using the chat message as i said earlier this uh, element will be used uh, for providing the styling to our messages so next uh, we are going to use st.chat input element and uh, as i said earlier it will be used to get the input from the user side so whenever a user uh, gives any input the prompt will be set and uh, if there is any value exists inside our prompt then we will execute uh, the blow code further so this further code will be used to take new message from the user and uh, to display the uh, result uh, from the bot side so whenever a new message comes uh, it will be appended inside your message list by using this kind of a dictionary and uh, in which we are storing the role since the message is from the user side uh, we are giving the role as a user and the content is set to the prompt so yeah so here we are renting that user uh, the message from the user side and it will be uh, print out on the front end side so the prompt contains the user message now it's time to get the response from the board and uh, to display it on the front end side for that we will use uh, this chat message container so it it has been given the role like assistant and uh, inside this container we have created an empty element with the name of message uh, placeholder we are now going to build a full response from the board side and uh, for that we are using this for loop and uh, inside this for loop we are uh, calling the openai.chat completion.create api and uh, to call this api we are giving uh, this information uh, like we are setting the model to the open ai model and uh, all our messages uh, by iterating over the uh, messages uh, list from the session state and uh, yeah so all our messages uh, list is being created and is set to these messages uh, list and uh, we have set the stream to true so by setting that uh, stream value to true i mean the response that we will get uh, from the uh, chat gpt api it will be taken as a streaming value like the first token first uh, will come first and the next co the token will come then the third one and so and so forth so our message from the board side will come one by one so yeah so when so to so to get the response uh, uh, we will be using uh, this format like choices zero dot delta dot get uh, content key and uh, it will be set to the full response and uh, yeah so we are incrementing again and again and uh, and uh, ma message placeholder dot markdown this uh, is used to print out our response token by token and uh, here we are using the cursor like it will give a real uh, real feel that how we will uh, gonna put uh, the response to the front end and uh, yeah so the response will be given as a token by token on the front end and uh, when the response will be completed all our um, response will be placed on the front end by using 
this uh, message placeholder dot markdown statement and after that we will set the response inside our messages uh, session state memory by by using this statement so this is the full code uh, by using this we can clone the chat gpt uh, using streamlit and uh, chat gpt api so let's run it and see how it works so let's run this one yeah by using streamlit run chat gpt clone dot py so let's ask something from the board hi my name is zuhek so here you can see this is my message and this is from the board side now if i talk about more with the board by saying that who are you So here you can see that how we are getting the message uh, token by token and it is giving us the real uh, look how the bot works and the response. So if I ask him like what is AI language model. So so you saw that how we are getting the response uh, one by one each token one by one so this is how we can build the uh, chat uh, bot api uh, user interface by using the streamlet and uh, chat gpt api if you guys have any questions uh, or problems then you can comment below i will be happy to answer your questions and uh, yeah if you guys still have not subscribed my channel then subscribe it as well until next video see you guys bye bye take care